Hosting a holiday party requires good cheer, but also experience in preparing food for large groups. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safe Families campaign has food safety advice that can help prevent foodborne illness from ruining your buffet. It all starts with clean, separate, cook, and chill. They're the four basics of safe food preparation. Clean is washing your hands, cutting surfaces, and utensils. Separate raw and cooked foods so you don't cross-contaminate. Cook to the right temperature as measured with a food thermometer. 165 degrees Fahrenheit for poultry and casseroles. 160 degrees Fahrenheit for ground meat. 145 degrees Fahrenheit with a three-minute rest time for beef, pork, veal, and lamb, and then chill. Food should be refrigerated within two hours after preparation. The experts say for holiday buffets, keep hot foods hot and cold foods cold. If you're transporting cooked food from one location to another, you want to keep it hot by carrying it in an insulated container. If you're transporting cold foods, Use a cooler with ice or freezer gel packs. Chafing dishes, warming trays, and slow cookers are all fine to keep hot foods hot, but you don't want to reheat food in them. Make sure to reheat food to at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit before placing it in a slow cooker or chafing dish. You should also beware of raw eggs. Never eat raw cookie dough. And if you're serving eggnog made with raw eggs, make sure it's heated to 160 degrees Fahrenheit or serve pasteurized eggnog. For more information, call the USDA's Meat and Poultry Hotline at 1-888-MP-HOTLINE or ask a food safety question at askkaren.gov. For the U.S. Department of Agriculture, I'm Pat O'Leary.